then so I have another layout for you today using my wild hair kits these are some die cut flowers I'm gonna put on my layout this video is fast because this layout was super fast and easy I took my two favorite papers from the kit and I die cut those two roses um, with a metal die from Maggie Holmes confetti collection I really really wanted that die I uh, bit on eBay to try to get it. So as soon as I bought my die cut machine and so I created these two roses with the scraps from my kit and I'm going to use them uh, to create a pretty simple fast layout. Um, I am here using my two most favoritest papers from my kit. Um, I wanted to, I really really had this layout in my head from the beginning um, and so I kind of waited till last as you do like you know you gotta hoard the favorite stuff a little bit right okay so <laughs> I just ran over my tape runner with my desk chair um, and it's quite broken uh, if you follow me if you are um, part of the event for my no spend with Christina Sorge uh, you know that I did end up buying another tape runner and I did mention that I had broke it off on camera <laughs> And I did. I'm just, I kept trying to fix it. I kept trying to fix it and trying to fix it, but I had busted this plastic metal piece on the inside and it just, it was broken, guys. So broken. So part of this, for part of this layout, I'm like switching out my tape runner, um, popping onto my phone and right away ordering another one because, um, you know, these are my favorites. This is what I want to use. And um, I did find a Scotch one then that I had in my stash. So right now I think I'm literally just like digging through my Rascog cart looking to see if I have another tape runner somewhere that I can use until my new one that I just ordered shows up at my house. <laughs> and um, so here is, I found this Scotch one. And I think I still am playing with my other one because I was just like, really, really it broke, but it did break. I dropped it on the hard floor and then I rolled over it with my desk chair. <laughs> so yeah, it was broken. Um, so I decided that I want to do a little bit of this teal color onto the back of my photo, just a little bit. So I'm just gonna mat it ever so little. I think it's like an eighth of an inch uh, mat just to give it a little bit of contrast against the pink. And now I'm going to decide where I want these gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. So I cut all the pieces of these flowers with my Maggie Holmes metal die cut. I inked all the edges with the vintage photo. And I think there are some layers that are white and some layers that are um, the pattern papers. So I'm going to go through all my die cuts here quick that I've left in my kit just to see if there's anything else I want. I know I want that sweet word. And then I'm going to find one more in the carousel die cuts that I'm going to use. And then this is going to complete this layout pretty much. I didn't, I really wanted the photo to be right there in the center and I wanted those gorgeous flowers and I didn't want the layout to get too busy. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, ink up and adhere down the flowers and also those die cut words. As I started to adhere with this layout down, um, I really, really wanted this to be really centered. Um, and I think that that's a key to doing a layout like this where you don't have a ton of embellishments and you have a very linear um, vertical layout. So I used my T-square ruler just to make sure that that middle piece was right smack dab in the middle of my layout and that my niece's eyes were right there looking at you because those are that's the like striking part of the photo that I wanted to make sure became part of the layout that your eye would go to right away. So now I've decided, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up some of the leaves for some added dimension with some pop tots. And I'm just gonna continue on here. So I love the dimension that this gave the layout, popping these leaves up. Um, Cause everything, you know, most of the things on this layout is just paper. So by popping up those leaves, you get a lot of um, extra dimension. So the last little thing that I'm going to do is just add a little bit of sparkle with these um, Spiegel on Scrap sequins that came in my kit. I'm just going to sprinkle them around the flower at different spots. I think it adds just a little something to the layout. And that will complete this uh, layout today. You can see a little um, close up there. Super fast layout today. Have a great day. Bye.